Hey guys, it's Jamie again, and today I'm going to be showing you this original design, another one. Sorry about my thumb, got messed up. And this one is called Fruit Punch. I was going to originally call it Fruit Wave, but then I had a bracelet called Beach Wave, and I didn't want it to have a wave again. So I just called it Fruit Punch. You know it. It kind of also reminds me of a beetle, but that kind of sounded nasty, so I didn't want to make it as a beetle. So, here's the fruit punch, and like I said, this was an original design by me, and yeah, let's get started. So, today, you're, all you're going to need is four pegs, so you're going to need any type of loom, or four pegs, like forks, or something like that. And you're going to need as many bands as you need. I'm going to be using the same exact colors as this, just without the pink. Because I ran out of pink. Oh, uh, whoops. But I'm going to be using black and rainbow. And I'll show you how to choose the colors very soon. And you're going to need a clip. And you're also going to need a hook. And I'm using the metal tip top today. So, uh, let's get started. So, today I'm going to be just using these four pegs right here. And if you like, I can take out the middle peg for you so it would be easier So to see. So let's get started. So on the outside bands, you're going to... So like, I'm using black for these bands. Oh, you can't really see that. For those bands, if you can see. And first we're going to place down our black bands. And you're going to need one black band. So you place it down and twist it into a figure eight, like so. Next, I'm going to grab my first color of the rainbow, which is red, and you're going to need two of these. So you're going to place one on this side, like that, and you're also going to place one on this side. You don't need to twist it, you just need to twist this black one right here. And this is what it should look like now. I'm going to take another black one and place it on the mid middle two pegs. Like so. Now you're going to start with the hooking process. So you're going to bring the bottom one up and over like a regular fishtail. And also on this side. So up and over. Push down. And I'm going to grab another black band. Place it in the middle pegs. And hook over this color band. Up and over. Up and over. Now we're going to place one more black band in the middle peg and you just hook the bottom t one up and over on each side. And push down. So now this is where we move these red bands to these two pegs. So I'm going to carefully pick this one up. Be careful, it's very loose. And then, and then you place it on this peg, like so. And I'm, so, I'm also going to take this one and place it on this peg as well. And now you want to push down. And now you want to hook a regular fishtail, so you hook this one up and over, and also on this side, up and over. Push down. So now we're going to continue to add three more black bands, or whatever color you're using. So make sure you have three. So this is my first one. Oh. Actually, before you do that, you want to add your second color. So I'm going to use, sorry for the confusion, um, orange. And I'm going to place it on this peg and also on this peg. And if, if you need to catch up, please pause the video and any time you need to catch up. Or rewatch the instructions you didn't get. So, yeah. Sorry if I didn't clear that out earlier. Okay, now you want to hook this black band up and over, and on this side, up and over. And now you want to add your three layers of black bands or whatever color you're using. So make sure it's three, so this is my first one. One, push down, and then my second layer, and do a fishtail stitch, like so. And this is my third one. And then you hook over the bottom one. And this is where we have to um, place our bands in the middle pegs again. 
So I'm going to take my hook and grab this orange one and carefully place it in the inside peg like that. It's very loose, so you want to be very careful. And also on this side, you grab this band and place it on this peg as well. So now you want to hook over the bottom ones again. Up and over. And up and over. And push down. Now let's place this, the third color. And mine's going to be mango. And place it on this side. Push down. And on this side as well. And now you want to hook over the bottom band again. Up and over. Up and over. Push down. And again, you want to add three layers of this color, or you can use more than one color, but I'm just using black. So this is my first one. And you hook over the bottom one up and over, on e only on the two middle pegs. And then I'm going to place another one. This is my second one. And hook over the bottom two, or bottom one on two pegs. And this is my last one. And you hook over the bottom one on these two pegs. Okay, now you want to transfer your color again to the inner pegs. So you're going to take the yellow and place it on this inner peg right here. And also on this side. And now you want to hook the bottom one up and over. So you take this one up and over. And this one up and over as well. I'm going to show you one more time and I'm going to get off camera. So I'm going to get my next color, which is green for me. Place it on this peg. And also on this peg. Now you want to take your hook and grab this bottom band over on this peg. Pull it up and over. And also on this side as well. Push down. And I'm going to add three more layers of black or whatever color you're using. This is my first one. Hook the bottom one up and over. Only on the two middle pegs. Here's my second one. And here is my third one. And now, we want to transfer our colors to the middle pegs. So I'm going to take this band and place it, make sure it's on this peg, and place it on that peg, and take this band, you can use your fingers as well, and place it on this peg. And now you want to hook the bottom one up and over. Okay. And now you want to add your, your colors now. So, this is what your bracelet should look like so far. If you were following me, and there, this is kind of reversible. Here's the back, and here's the front. So let me show you. This is the front, and there's actually no front and back, but like I guess this is the com more comfortable wear way to wear it because this side is flat and this side is bumpy, so it's kind of uncomfortable. If you can see. Okay, so I'll be right back, and please pause to catch up, and I'll show you how to end the bracelet real soon. See ya! Okay, so when you're here at this point, um, you want to transfer your colors, like before, to the middle two pegs. Like so. And then I'm going to grab the bottom one up and over, and also on this side, up and over. I'm going to grab another one of these bands, or black bands, and place on the pegs. And you, this time you want to grab both of them up and over. Like so. And now you can place your C-clip. So I'm just going to place it on this peg. And, sorry, I had to go off camera and stuff. So, this is what your bracelet should look like now. And like I said, it is reversible, and it looks really cool. And this was a, an, another original design by me. And make sure to go watch my other original designs, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and they will be linked down below. And um, 
if you share, the, if you want to share this creation with me, use the hashtag Asian Girl underscore bracelets, and you'll see why if you follow me on Instagram, why it's hashtag Asian Girl underscore bracelets. And please subscribe, like, and comment, and share, and see you next time. Bye!